What Up Gaming. This is the What Up Gaming podcast, episode 348. Almost time for the big 350. Uh, we've got a couple of bits of news this week, not much. Uh, I'm more interested in showing off all of our What Up Gaming branded stuff. Just go to the YouTube channel. Um, on the bottom, it'll say store. And you can click on them. And then you can buy stuff and please enjoy. So we'll go straight into this week's news. So first bit of news that we have got. Dead Island Dead Island 2 sells more than 1 million units in 3 days. Uh, within the first 3 days of its release, Dead Island 2 sold over 1 million copies. Um, I think that's all they've got really on here. I will just mention the fact that I stupidly didn't realise it was coming out as soon as it came out and I emailed the press team I'm like oh please could we get a copy to review because we're desperate and we like the game and they just emailed back saying they're very sorry but they were shocked and amazed at the requests for reviews for the game and how well the game has actually done so Dan Buster Studios you've done an amazing job there uh, is it THQ Nordic that's released I don't know is it THQ Nordic? I don't know. Um, but yeah, whoever it was, and done an amazing job. It's flying off the shelves. It's really good. So we'll do the next bit of news. And that is, uh, Competition and Markets Authority blocks Xbox's Activision de uh, Blizzard deal. Um, so that, again, it's just more videos. I'm not really going to go into the details, but it was the, the UK... The UK CMA, I think it is. Uh, they have said that they think it's unfair practice and gone into some details. Um, Microsoft has appealed to the decision, so I guess we'll see. But I do know that the appeals process is a lot faster than the normal process, so I guess we'll, a few weeks' time, we'll see what they've actually sort of said. So we'll go to the next bit of news, and that is... The Flash director addresses sequel possibilities. There is excitement about continuing the story. Uh, they've said it's unclear if uh, Ezra Miller's version of Barry Allen will be a part of the new DC Universe. Uh, Andy Muschietti, the director behind the upcoming DC movie The Flash, isn't sure if his movie will get a sequel will be part of the new DC universe, but he certainly isn't ruling out the possibility. There's Flash, which is set to hit theatres on June 16th. We'll see Ezra Miller's Barry Allen travel back in time to save his parents. Things go awry though when the Flash trends tries to meddle with the past, causing chaos to break out. The film, which will also see Sasha Kelly, a Supergirl, don't know who she is. And Michael Keaton return as Batman. The best Batman. Batman and Batman Returns, two best Batman movies. But will we ever be seeing a sequel to all of this? During a Q&A after the advanced screen, press screening of The Flash, uh, we didn't th talk about it. I think we were all, we are waiting to see how this movie does. Of course, there is excitement about continuing the story, especially if this movie is successful. Of course, there is the... An, architecture architecture at DC that is brewing and being created and the question is will this new architecture absorb this story uh, the flash will be Miller's first standalone movie as a character but it very well could be the last James Gunn and Peter Safran took over as CEOs of DC Studios in late 2022 and the duo unveiled a grand plan for the IP that includes a whole new slate of films and shows. Chapter 1 of this new universe named Gods and Monsters. We recast and reintroduce some of our favourite DC characters. Therefore, the future of character-driven sequels to things like The Flash is up in the air at best. During his video detailing the roadmap for DC's upcoming slate, Gunn said that The Flash movie helped lead into his upcoming plans because it resets the DC universe 
Although there was no mention of the Flash 2 beyond that. The good thing about the multiverse is that it is possible. The multiverse allows all of these different worlds to coexist and to interact. So hopefully, yes, we don't know yet. Uh, I've talked too much about the Flash. Uh, what do you guys think? Are you excited to see the Flash movie? I've... I'm looking at the TV for inspiration. I kind of looked, uh, watched the first 10, 20 minutes, half an hour of the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And hopefully it gets better because I turned it off because after half an hour I was bored. It just didn't have the snap and the, and the zip of some of these other movies that they've done. So we'll go straight into the next bit of movie news. Gamora actress confirms she's done with Marvel, but teases more Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, Zoe Zaldana has confirmed that Guardians of the Galaxy 3 will be her final outing in the MCU as Gamora. Though she hinted that it might not necessarily mark the end of the road for the Guardians. Of course it won't. They'll just redo, rechange actors and actresses. That's what they do. They only sign into like three year, uh, three movie doc contracts normally. So if you don't get a, an update by then, you normally kicked out. The actress um, hadn't, expect, uh, hadn't expected to play... Gamara beyond the first guy's movie and feels now is the right time to step away from the role. In fact, she told the Hollywood Reporter that the upcoming f third and final song of James Gunn's trilogy would be a swan song in the MCU. I don't think this is the end of the Guardians. Uh, it's the end for me for Gamora. Uh, she's played Gamora's in the Marvel movie since 2014, and she will be she will next be seen reprising the role in Guardians Three. Thanks, James, for just his time, his patience, and his guidance, and his friendship. On her last day filming with the Guardians of the Cast crew, uh, Dave Batista shared a similar sentiment over Guardian's role earlier this year, expressing a desire to move to a more dramatic role after his tenure of Drax ends. <coughs> he noted that he and his co-star signed up for the trilogy and that Gunnar crafted the perfect exit for the current team. Gunnar's also said that this is the last time we will see his team of Guardians together. This is the end for us, he told Deadline last year. I just want to be true to the characters. I want to be true to the story. And I want to give people the wrap-up they deserve for the story. Um, yeah. So the new Guardians movie will be coming out in a month or so, I'd have a guess. So that's pretty cool. Um... I mean, I did like the Guardians movies. I thought the Guardians ones were some of the better Marvel movies. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. So the next bit of news. Beetlejuice 2 is officially in development at Warner Brothers. Beetlejuice 2 is officially in development. A sizzle reel of logos briefly showed off the film at the Warner Brothers Discovery Showcase at CinemaCon 2023. Fans of the Tim Burton classic have been hoping for a sequel since 1988. Fun fact, it was the first movie I watched on Sky when we got Sky installed. Uh, my mum hated it because back then, when we first got it, there was Sky 1 up until 7 o'clock at night, I think it was, or 8 o'clock at night. Then it changed to the movie channel, so you got a couple of movies before it went off air. And um, Tim Burton's... Uh, blah. Beetlejuice, there we go. His Beetlejuice movie seemed to be on four or five times a week and there was nothing else to watch, so we used to just sit and watch that movie over and over again. Uh, most recently, rumours have been ramping up the past few years. Most recently, Wednesdays, Jenna Ote Ortega was said to be in negotiations, uh, negotiations to join the project as a daughter of Winona Ryder's Lydia from the original. According to the same report, the sequel is set to begin production in May or June 2023, with Burton and Michael Keaton both set to return. None of this confirmed, of course, though, as we know, as we, uh, though we now know at least the film is definitely happening. 
Keen began teasing his involvement more than 10 years ago and admitted to talking to, with Burton about it a few years later in 2014. Uh, the director said the sequel was closer than ever in 2017. Around the same time, a script reportedly underwent a rewrite. Given that just a logo showed up in a half second sizzle reel, we don't know anything else about the film yet, though it certainly appears as though both Burton and Keaton are eager to return. So that is that. And then the last bit of news that I've got here <clears throat> is after I scratch my ear. Nintendo confirms its return to Gamescom in 2023. Gamescom organizers has confirmed that Nintendo will be returning to exhibit at the 2023 event following a four year absence. We are excited to announce that Nintendo will be exhibiting at Gamescom 2023. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so after E3's cancellation in March, uh, however, no one knows whether Nintendo will show up, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so Nintendo, they're coming to Gamescom. So Nintendo are in Europe towards the end of the year. Big shock, woo woo. Um, so I guess we'll go through this week's top 40 news, uh, news, the top 40 charts. So number 40, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Saints Row, Red Dead Redemption 2, Pokemon Legends Arceus, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, number 35 is Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy The Definitive Edition, Kirby's Return to, uh, to Dreamland Deluxe, NBA 2K23, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, I don't know which one's the new one and which one's the old one, number 30 is Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, Metroid Prime Remastered, just Dance 2023 Edition, Gran Turismo 7, Luigi's Mansion 3, EA Sports PGA Tour, Splatoon 3, Mario Plus Rabbid Sparks of Hope, Pokemon Scarlet, Pok Pokemon? Mario Party Superstars, number 20, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, WWE 2K23, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I'm going to say Legend of Wrestling. Pokemon Violet, Grand Theft Auto 5, Animal Crossing New Horizons at 15, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, Nintendo Switch Sports, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, and the top 10. So number 10, God of War Ragnarok, number 9, Minecraft, number 8, Resident Evil 4, number 7, Hogwarts Legacy, number 6, Super Mario Odyssey, number 5, FIFA 23, Number four, America 8 Deluxe. Number three, Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. Number two, Minecraft Legends. And at number one, brand new in from Deep Silver, Dead Island 2. And that is thank you to Games Press with their GFK Entertainment software chats, all formats. So thank you to them. And that, my friends, is episode 400 and... I keep saying 400. Even in the interview I did, I did 400. 348 of the One Up Gaming podcast with me, David. Please go check out our website, oneupgaming.co.uk. Please go to our Patreon site, patreon.com slash O-U-G. Um, you can buy, I was gonna say t-shirts like this, but no. T-shirts like these, hoodies, kitty tops, cups, hats, things like this from our um, store. Just go to our YouTube channel and it's got store on our features on the column. And you can go and buy things from there. 